Okay, so I'm gonna keep it all the way 100 with y'all in this video because I know y'all are damn well enough going to keep it all the way 100 with me in the comments. Recommending books I haven't read. Have I done it? Yeah. So sue me. Um, Oshale, it's, it's not a good thing. So says, you know, booktube land. On what grounds? Um, the grounds of morality and integrity. Okay, but there's levels to this though. There's levels. Okay, but there's levels to this though. There's levels. So we're gonna explore those levels in this video because the overarching opinion seems to be, especially here on booktube, hmm, isn't it immoral to recommend books you haven't read? Well, let me break it down for y'all, okay? Number one, so we're just shitting on librarians now because like, isn't that a huge part of their job description? Recommending books they haven't read? No librarian can read every book in the library. Okay, let me be a little less aggressive. <clears throat> no librarian is able to fully immerse themselves in every single novel, whether nonfiction or fiction, in the great library that they serve diligently. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, let's look at it like this. A big part of a librarian's job is basically to know what books are hot, right? To know what books are coming out, to know what books people like in all age groups, across all genres, across all creeds, nationalities, groups of people. Okay, so the 9 to 12 year olds are really loving these books right now. Twilight, it's popping, everyone's loving it. They may have never read the Twilight books. They may never pick up a Twilight novel. They may not give a shit. They may be like, yo, I read a couple pages and it's trash. But guess what? We've noticed the kids in this age bracket are really enjoying this. It's always on the wait list. It's always being checked out. We have to borrow it from other libraries in our district because we don't have enough copies. Hmm, maybe we should recommend these to other 9 to 12 year olds and possibly 12 to 16 year olds because they're starting to catch interest in those books as well. Are we, are we getting the gist here of how librarians recommend books to people? Like I said, there's levels to this. Not to mention, there's a lot of bureaucracy and red tape that we don't see behind the scenes. I'm sure certain publishers send out books to certain libraries, and you know, I don't know if there's, you know, tax breaks or what is going on monetarily, financially behind the scenes, because guess what? I'm sure something is, okay? Our, our nation values money above all else. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. It is just what it is. So let's not try to fake the funk and say that there's not some type of monetary gain going on behind the scenes with which books are being sent to libraries and all that. I don't know. I'm not going to try to pretend like I know what's going on. But if any of y'all work in libraries, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, doubtful, very doubtful. But if any of y'all work in libraries or have ever worked in a library or if anyone watching is a librarian, please educate me because I did not do my due diligence and research that before making this video. So definitely let me know in the comments and let's start a lively discussion and debate so we can talk about that side of things. All right, moving on from the librarians, y'all. All right, so we're gonna move on and delve a little deeper into the whole morality side of things outside of librarians. Are we talking about an informed and educated recommendation or are we talking about sales and marketing? Because the thing is, as an influencer on any platform, whether it be booktube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is, when you get to a point where you are truly an influencer, you have thousands upon thousands, if not millions of followers, and people are literally taking every word you say as law, you have to be very, very careful about how you present certain things to people. Now, I get it. I, I ain't hating and everybody has to eat and I respect everyone's hustle and I have a lot of respect and admiration for a lot of the bigger booktubers here on this platform. However, I do think it's still important to hold each other to some type of accountability. Come on now. If you're in a video talking about some, 
I was sent this book by Harper Teen Penguin fit in the appropriate publishing house here and I am so excited to read this it doesn't come out until fill in the appropriate amount of time here that is not today at this time and I am so excited to read this book note the keywords I'm so excited to read this book meaning it has not yet been consumed mentally by you I think you guys should go out and get this I think you guys would love this you do really so you're directly telling your viewers to go purchase this book that you have not yet read hmm interesting so it's a direct order per se okay I see you make those coins boo boo but just be careful be careful now what is the correct way to do this Okay, you could say, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to read this. I haven't read it yet, but I was sent this by Harper Teen, whatever other publishing house supplies. And I am so, so excited by the plot. The synopsis sounds so interesting. I can't wait to read it. I'll definitely let you guys know my thoughts. I will put a link down below if you're interested in checking out the book on Goodreads. There's some preliminary reviews there from people who've read a proof or art copy, so you can decide for yourselves if it's something that you would want to pick up. That went that was good that was good so as you can see it's a moral gray area here you know you don't want to just come right out and tell people to go buy something that you don't even know if it's worth their coin especially when you're talking about young impressionable readers ages 9 10 11 12 some even as young as 7 who are subscribed to your channel and really look up to you and are gonna beg their parents for money or save up all their little coins in their piggy bank and then go spend money on that book that I mean is it age appropriate are there triggers in there you know there's a lot of stuff to think about just want to be careful especially when a lot of these bigger booktubers are young adult booktubers you know they only read young adult books or primarily young adult books or at least that's what they present on their channels and I get it I get it you know it's sales it's marketing booktube is a business it has become a business once you reach a certain level of success or fame on booktube you're gonna have publishers reaching out to you you're gonna have amazing opportunities and once again I do not begrudge any of these people any of these things I think it's amazing that you can make a living reading buying books I mean at that point they don't even have to buy books they just get sent to them I think it's amazing that that type of career is even possible so I'm not a hater by any means and I get it you gotta make your coin you gotta feed your family you gotta pay your rent I completely understand I just think we have to hold each other accountable here on booktube there's got to be some type of morality to this there's a gray area here but let's stay on the right side of the gray shall we now don't get me wrong there are plenty of bigger booktubers that make it very clear not only do they clarify that they were sent this book to review or read or whatever by whatever publishing house or company they also make it very clear that they're not recommending that their viewers go buy the book per se but they're just saying hey I think this book looks really cool I'm really excited to read it voila you make your own conclusions from that and honestly I feel like that's the only safe way to do it when you have large groups of people following you looking up to you really admiring you and everything that you say they're naturally going to be more vulnerable to you know what you do they're gonna follow you you're gonna be more able to influence their thoughts and their decisions so you know it's not far-fetched to think that they're gonna go out and buy that book even though you didn't directly say it and at that point you can't be held responsible for that they did that on their own so there you have it those are my thoughts on recommending books that I haven't read or you haven't read or you know whatever I do feel that is a very touchy subject here on booktube so let me know how you guys feel about it have you noticed it being abused just what side of the gray moral line do you fall on definitely let me know and I will catch you guys in my next video bye I've got a novel idea just recommend books that you've read I've got a novel idea if you're recommending books you haven't read, make sure you let people know that you haven't read the book, but you think they would like it based on, I don't know, do some informed research. Like a librarian. Just do it like a librarian. Deuces. 
the truth, y'all. What do you want me to say? That's right. This is another video about the YouTube demonetization issue that solely affects smaller creators. But let's remember that we choose our perspective here. We choose our reaction. I'm choosing positivity. I'm choosing my truth, which is I love this platform. I love this community. And I didn't come here to make money. Yo, Oshale. Yo, what? Say